Hello, Kaz Jim here. I'm coming to you from the city of Elvesville. This is a city I've been working on over on stream for only a couple days. Uh, we play a lot of city skylines over there. In fact, currently exclusively city skylines. And yeah, it's just a place where we've been playing and getting a lot of stuff done. But I wanted to take a moment to give an asset a shout out. It's an asset that I have been using a lot lately. And you can see it at work over here in my farming area. So if you take a look at this, you're thinking, whoa, those are some huge roads. What are you doing with that? These are the big fat industry roads from Whisperwalk over on the Steam Workshop. Now, let's go ahead and just investigate what's going on here. So first off, you'll notice that there's people walking around the median. You'll notice that trucks are driving the mill and you've got a lot of space along the edges. Now, it's interesting to note that this is one of four different skins that currently exist for it, and they're all being updated relatively frequently right now. So what's happening here is these trucks are driving on a center two lanes, or the center two lanes, rather, and whenever they need to pull into these farms and whatnot, they just simply pull into them, and you might be able to see it here in a second, hoping you will, You'll be able to see one of them pull in, and just like these guys are doing, they pull all the way in, and when they're all the way pulled in, they do not block traffic. That is brilliant. These are brilliant, brilliant roads. And it has a couple of other benefits, too. So two lanes of traffic, parking and buses down the middle. Though I'd recommend either having one or the other, because the buses do kind of drive over your parked cars, unfortunately, it looks like, to go grab passengers. Bus stops are in the middle, though. That's another huge advantage, because the whole goal of these roads is just to keep traffic moving. And he's actually been working really hard on getting these transitions just right. So what you see here are the rural roads, and there are two other... No, not two other, sorry, three other variants. So here is the... Let me go ahead and throw the lot to just daytime. We don't need anything special now. There we go. Nope. This way a bit more, please. Thank you. So, here's the rural. Just so you can see for comparisons. This one's meant, in my opinion, for things like farming, things like that. This over here is the asphalt one. This is one that I use a lot. And this one also, by the way, has grass as normally on it, but I don't have the grass enabled. So you need to make sure to enable the dependencies. This is the asphalt one. This is a great one. I use this for most of my industry areas these days. At least for the main roads of it. It's just wonderful. Because no traffic blockage. You can have as many industries as you want next to each other. Nothing. I've had huge unique factories, huge oil fields, everything hooked into here. No traffic blockage whatsoever. Because of that lead-in. Because you'll see the way it works is the zoning squares are all the way over here. And the driving lanes are right there. And that length is more than enough for most trucks. There are some workshop trucks that are perhaps a little longer, but don't tend to see people using those, so I don't think that'll be an issue for most people. And here's the concrete. There we go. This one's just kind of a big piece of tarmac, really. And here's some actual tarmac over here. What the heck? Oh, I know what... I, <laughs> I was messing around with an asset earlier. And then... Oh, there's two more here. Here's Rocky. Just for comparison. This one's great, actually. If you're driving on it, it'll kick up little, like, dust clouds. It's kind of cool. I like using that in my orange industry areas now. And then we have the tarmac over here. This one's great for... I actually have been using this in my dock area at the city of Rockdale. This is a beautiful, beautiful road, and it's got all of the tarmac on the side, the green, and it's just really beautiful. This is what you can do to kind of give that extra edge. This for me is my most used though, just the asphalt. It's a wonderful asset, and again, you just put them on here, and just as a size comparison. Because a lot of people might be like, well sweet, I'm going to go replace my industry roads right now. Let's just do a comparison, shall we? Yeah, this is your standard one. It's going to eat up a lot of space, so you need to zone an extra... If you want to be able to upgrade to these, you need to make sure that you have two and a half extra tiles worth. Zoning squares worth on either side in order to upgrade it without intruding on other zoning squares. 
But whatever factories you have on here would be destroyed if you upgraded it. But let's talk about how they interplay. So this is something that has been improved a lot. You can look in some of my earlier VODs. I have a couple of clips, I believe, somewhere of us playing around with these roads. And you can see kind of the early version. And Whisperwalk has been hard at work making sure that these things look pretty decent now. So look at that, that smooth transition. A lot of custom roads like this do not work well in this format, but he has made sure that they work brilliantly. You can connect them to all sorts of sides of roads. So, you know, I often have a little side road right here. There we go, look at that. It actually works pretty well. A little bit of weird clipping here, but this actually is kind of more of a city's issue without renders things. But then you come on over here and you can see that I use it all the time and you see really no issues. And if you do have an issue with this, you just grab a bush. Grab your nearest bush, plop it there. There you go. Problem solved. Well, unless you have prop and tree anarchy on. Or not on, rather. There you go. See? Bush. Covered it up. Perfect. So, <laughs> that's the big fat industry roads from... Whisperwalk. I totally recommend giving these a try and give Whisperwalk a shout out. Let me know I sent you because these are amazing. These need more attention. He's working on these and a couple of other projects. And this is an asset developer we need to be paying attention to, folks. He knows what he's doing. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. This is Kazjim signing out.